Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku and today we are solving Sharrows by Philip Newman. This is an arrow Sudoku, so we have standard Sudoku rules replacing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each 3 by 3 region. And in addition to that, there are some arrows in the grid. And wherever there's an arrow, the digits along the arrow have to sum to the digit in the attached circle. And there are some situations in this puzzle where there are multiple arrows attached to the same circle. And in those cases, each of the arrows has to sum to the circle independently. So these two sum to this, and also these two sum to this. So this needs to be either eight or nine. It has to be bigger than six and it can't be seven. So it's either six plus two is eight or six plus three is nine. But because there is a three in the column already, that's gonna be a two and this will be an eight. The only remaining way to make 8 out of a sum of 2 digits without using a 6 or a 7 is 3 plus 5. This has to be greater than both 6 and 7, so that will be 8 or 9. But if it was 9, it would have to be 6 plus 3, which is a problem because we already have 3s there and there. So that's going to be an 8 with a 2 and a 1 right here. And 2 plus 3 is 5, 4 plus 1 is also 5, that checks out, so that cell contains a 5. Now our remaining digits in this column are... 1, 5, and 9. And this cannot be a 5. This can't be a 1. And this can't be a 9. And our remaining digits in this column are 7 and 9. And finally here we're going to need a 1, 4, and 9. And that can't be a 9, so that's where our 9 will go, making that 5 and 1. And the remaining digits in this column are going to be 2, 6, and 8. This can't be a 2 because 2 plus 1 is 3, which can't go in that cell. So it's either 6 plus 1 is 7 or 8 plus 1 is 9. We aren't sure which of those to go with just yet. Now, let's look at some of our longer kind of 3 cell sum arrows. Because those can only have a total of 6, 7, 8, or 9. The minimum is 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6. So it has to be either 6 or bigger. So this one C is a 6 and a 7 already, so that'll be 8 or 9. This one will be 6, 8, or 9 because it sees a 7. That has to be 6 or 9, but we can actually go a little further with this because it sees 7 and 8, so it's not those. If it was 6, these cells would be 1, 2, 3, but we can't put a 3 on that arrow. So this must be a 9. And then this is going to be 6, 7, 8, or 9. Now, what are our remaining digits in this row? So we need a 1, 2, 5, and 8. The 8 certainly can't go here. 5 also can't go here because it would have to be 5 plus 1 plus 3 to make a total of 9. So this is going to be either 1 or 2. And I think that's all we can get easily right here. Now, if this was an 8, there are a couple ways of seeing this, and I'm going to give you the slightly more advanced one just because I think, you know, this is the video walkthrough. Maybe you'll find this interesting. If this was an 8... Without doing a 2, to sum to 8, we would have to have the absolute minimum of all three other digits. So that would have to be 1 plus 3 plus 4, which equals 8. However, if we were to make these 1, 3, and 4, there would be nothing left that we could put into this cell. So that would be broken. That means this has to be 9. Now that doesn't contain a 2, so the only way to make a sum of 9 without a 2 is going to be 1, 3, and 5, making that 4 and 1. These will now be 6, 7, and 8. Now to make a sum of 9 with no 1, no 3, and no 5, we have to have a 2 plus 7. That's the only remaining way to do it. And we have a 7 in this column now. These guys are going to be 1, 4, 6, and 9. And because there is a 6, 7, 8 triple here, we can't have a 6 there. So my 6 will go right there. And this certainly can't be a 1 or a 4 because it has to be bigger than 6, 7, or 8. So that will be a 9. That'll be a 1, 2, or 3. Except that it can't be a 1. So that's not a 1. And that is not an 8. And now one of these has to be a 5, so this is either 2 plus 5 or 3 plus 5, so this cannot be a 6, because 6 would have to be 1 plus 5. Now, these digits are 4 and 8. This can't be an 8 because um, it can 8 can't be part of a 3 cell sum, 8 plus 1 plus 2 is, is too big. So where do we go from here then? This can no longer be a 9, so this does have to have a 1 on it. In fact, the only digits it can include are 1, 2, 3, and 4, because if we go any bigger than that, we can't use 5, and if we use a 6, we have to go up to at least 9. 1 plus 2 plus 6 is 9. So these are definitely from 1, 2, 3, and 4. 
Now there has to be a one in one of these cells. Where was the next move of this puzzle? <laughs> well, this can't be six, because if this was a six, that would be one, two, and three. And then there wouldn't be any way we could make a sum of six out of two cells there. So that's not going to be a six. That's definitely going to be either an eight or a nine. And I did test this one before it came out, but I'm struggling to recall exactly what the next move is here. So bear with me, let's figure it out. Three has to be down here somewhere. And those are going to be from two, four, five, and six. Now, if we work on this two cell sum, this can't be one or eight because we can't have a one or eight to match it down here. And then if that's two or five, then this has to be four or seven. So it's four. So that's a four and five. And to make nine without using three, four or five, we have to go one, two, six. That was a little bit messy, but hopefully that was clear enough for you to understand what was going on. We now have one location for six in this region, which resolves the rest of the region. This is now our only position for eight in row five, making that a one and a nine. And that's now a two. Now to make a total of nine without using a one at all, it has to be two, three, and four. The two in the row resolves this. I still need a seven and eight to finish this region, which is right there. I need a five and a six right here. Okay. Here I need one, five, seven, and nine, and that can't be nine on the arrow, and that can't be one or five, given what I have already in the row. That's interesting. That's now a seven, nine pair. I'm not sure if that's going to become relevant momentarily, but it may. Let's look at this column now. This can't be six or seven, so this is definitely an eight, and that can't be three or four. So this is a one, two pair, meaning that this is either six or seven to sum with one or two to make eight, and it can't be a seven because there's a seven in the column. So that's six and two. This is going to be 1 plus 3 plus 4 to total to 8. The 6 makes this an 8, which resolves that to a 9. And also resolves that to a 9. And my remaining digits in this region are going to be 5, 7, and 9. This is now a naked 5. So that's now a naked 1. And this is going to be a 7. So we can't make the sum be 9 here with the 7 on the arrow. So it must be 8. Okay, and I need three right there. And my last digits here are going to be two, four, and six. Six equals two plus four. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's Sharrows. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you want to solve it yourself, there is a link to do so in the description of this video. And I'll see you again in a few days.